Hi, and Sneaky Lynx back for this evening. And tonight we're going to look at Zenwalk Linux. It's based on Slackware. It's formerly called Mini Slack. And it's a nice quick little distro. So we're going to have a little walk through it tonight and see what it's all about. So we click on the menu. It's all the usual there. You've got your accessories. Dictionary there. Leaf pad. Screenshot. Games. That's another story. We'll get into that a bit later. But hey, graphics comes as standard with events. Internet comes with Ice Weasel as the web browser, and Ice does as the uh, mail client. Office comes with every word. A couple of programming programs. Sound and video, you've got quite a few there. System tools, as you normally would. Slightly different to what you're usually used to normally, I think. Get your system and preferences. Administration. As you can see there, it comes with a net package. Now this is a bit like Synaptic. That's where you upload all your stuff from a repository. So I'm going to put in my password. Have a quick look. It's downloading the mirror, create a database, and we can have a lot of butchers. And there we go. So we're going to click on games here. And this is my first little problem. The downloading of the game was fine, but the installing took so long I gave up. So maybe uh, that was just me or the system I'm using. Apart from that, there's plenty of games here, plenty of apps also. There's Child's Play. Not to be a download. Nice. It's quite fast. Clean again, like most Linux distros. Let's open up our browser. As you can see, Ice Weasel by default. Uh, I've not used Ice Weasel for quite a while, but it's okay. It does the business. There you go. Loads up quick. Nice. So let's go to the BBC homepage, or should we go somewhere else? No, should we go to the weather? See if I'm going to be snowed in again. We click on weather. There we go. Comes up pretty quick. Considering I've got a slow broadband speed here, it's not too bad at all. So that was nice. What else we got here? We're going to select tool. And I think we'll go to a Linux page. Just to make sure it's just not a fluke. But as you can see, it looks pretty nice on the desktop. There we go. It's going to linux.org. If you've never been here before, have a good look at it. <coughs> There's plenty of things to read. Get you ready to go over to Linux permanently. That's what you should be doing. But there we go. There we come. Now next, we'll go to the mail application. Now I'm not going to actually put in the settings, but I'll just open it up anyway. So, off we go. I don't want to import anything, so I can just click next. And I stuff will come up. As you can see, it's Mozilla based anyway, so that looks pretty good. But I'm going to cancel creating an account. I'm going to exit that. But that's the basic look of it. So that's very familiar to you. We're going to close that window. What have we got next? Let's scroll down here. Uh, multimedia player. Now that's Totem. So I'm not sure if it comes with all the codecs, because I haven't actually tried any DVDs yet. But yes, it does play MP3s, etc. Not a problem. So that's all hunky dory. You've got your DVDs and video sorted out. Next on your taskbar down here, we're going to go to the desktop panel. Now some of you may have seen this before in some other distros. This looks a lot nicer, because it's set out a bit better, I think. Although it's probably just exactly the same. You've got all the things there to change your desktop, volume, printing, set preferred apps. I'll click there. As you can see, Firefox is the default web browser, although that's a different one. And I still have the mail client. But I'm just going to click on Thunderbird to change the mail client, as I'm like that. That looks all hunky dory, doesn't it? <coughs> Excuse me again. Yeah. 
we're going to go back to the menu. Office comes with every word, as you would think anyway, as a small distro, and GNumeric. So I'm going to open that up. Normally I'll check in every word to see if it's safe to different uh, formats. So I'm going to do that on this one in GNumeric this time, because a lot of you will use spreadsheets. So we click on File, Save As. And if you're doing work from home and you're using Linux at home, you need to be able to export to the format. And yes, you can see it there. As at work, they would normally use Microsoft Excel. So that's Anki Dory. It's a PDF as well. So that's alright. That's lovely. We'll close him down. We'll look at something else. We'll go back to the menu. Ooh, what should we do? Mm. I don't know. Let's have a look at this one. Music browser. Okay. Just seems like an ordinary CD player. Nothing new. Change the shuffle. So yeah, say rhythm box, but smaller. A lot smaller. You can change volumes and edit the settings. Okay, that weren't very interesting, that one, was it? Let's try something else. There's your places. System. Preferences. Mm, no. We don't want to do that. Just to say though, that apparently this does run very well with a lot of wireless devices, which a lot of smaller distros don't. I actually tried it with a little Belkin USB stick, and it found it straight away. Anyway, back to what we're looking at. You can change your appearance, as you can in most distros. Very, very familiar to most of you. So if you're going from one distro to another, it ain't going to be no problem, because you know what you're looking at, don't you, really? Ooh, high contrast. Hmm. Yeah, go on in. You just click install to install the high contrast icons. And that's it, really. There's nothing new. It does work rather fast. That's quite a small download, so that's not too bad. So we're going to change the desktop and see what they give us there. Right, we can change the background. Hmm. We get three as standard. Shall we go to the green? Why not? Wait for it to think about it. And he should do it. There you go. So I like it. Give it a play with. It's a live CD to play with, and you can install it. I'm Sneaker Linux. See you later.